So you're thinking about buying a crate engine. Here are some things to consider before you order and what to expect when it shows up at your door. Quite simply, a crate motor is an engine that is gonna be pre-assembled in various stages of completion and literally shows up to your door in a crate. This happens to be an ATK 5.3 LS long block that we're gonna use in one of our projects. And this is what it's gonna look like when you order a crate motor. And when you're ready to uncrate this, you don't necessarily wanna get out the pry bar and the claw hammer. Most crate motors that we've encountered have some lag screws on the bottom that secure the crate to the pallet. And that's all you need to do to get the crate off is to just take those lag screws out. Once you get the crate off, the engine is pretty much always gonna be wrapped in plastic to keep dust and things off of it. And now is a great time as you're unbagging it to pay attention to the other things that come in the crate. For instance, this 5.3 comes with a gasket set. It comes with an oil pump set. Also pay attention to packing lists. There's a lot of times warranties, instructions, things like that are gonna be enclosed in a packing list inside the crate. Now this LS53 is a long block, which means it has cylinder heads on it, rotating assembly, everything is in the bottom end, camshaft is installed, timing gear is installed, push rods, rockers, everything is ready for you to kind of bolt on the ancillary stuff like intake manifold, ignition, oil pan, and that kind of thing to make it a complete engine. Another common way to order a crate engine is gonna be a short block, which is a machined block with the rotating assembly installed, but no cylinder heads or valve train on it. And another option then at the other end of the spectrum is a fully dressed crate engine, which typically is gonna come fully assembled, valve covers on, intake manifold, often even the carburetor and distributor. This is gonna be a ready to run engine. Often these will already have been run on the dyno. They're ready to just drop in and go. We talk to a lot of people here at Speedway Motors who are on the fence. Do they wanna order a crate motor versus try to rebuild the engine that they already have? And in our experience, it's almost always cheaper to buy a crate motor than it is to rebuild your engine. And that seems crazy when you look at the price tag and it's five, $10,000 for a fully assembled crate engine. But what you have to realize is that the crate engine manufacturers are doing this. It's a, an assembly line, economies of scale take over to where it's much cheaper for them to build an individual engine than it is for you to build yours. Once you've paid for all of the machine work, once you've paid for all of the components and all of the assembly, it's almost always more expensive when you do it yourself. The issue with a crate motor is you've got to drop all that money right away, all at once. Whereas when you're building it yourself, you can pay for the machine work when you have money, you can pay for the rotating assembly when you have money and so on. Speedway Motors has a huge variety of both crate motors and the pieces that you're gonna to need to assemble it yourself. Whichever way you choose to go, we'll be here to help you. Thank you for watching.